yeah, Target. Yeah. This is yeah. Target, man. Like sometimes I'm walking through Target and I'm like, that looks red. Legit. I'm done. I'm no, buying it. This is Kohl's, Lauren Conrad. Oh. Nice. What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. I am at the Team Crispy offices, which is gonna make more sense in a second, with Matt Pierce, production director for Sun Squared Media, mm. and um, that includes a couple of channels that you're working on, one of the biggest probably TLD sure. today, and you do some work for Austin Evans Media as well. Can you talk a little bit about what you do? Like, what is this whole Team Crispy thing, and why is the internet wiling out about it? <laughs> So Team Crispy is kind of a loose conglomeration of uh, several of the top tech YouTubers. Uh, probably the top tech yeah, YouTubers, actually, now that I think arguably. about it. So yeah, yeah, so definitely millions and millions of subscribers and followers among those guys. And they kind of have come up with this branding that jointly promotes everything they're doing. Um, so a lot of like synergy there, which yeah. is working really well. Uh, and it's something the fans have really responded to. So it's. Uh, kind of a loose affiliation of uh, some top YouTubers. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, many of them obviously don't work here, um, mm -hmm. but and we can talk a little bit more about this because actually you're, you guys are gonna be doing your first live event, kind of bringing that all together. But like mm -hmm. you said, synergy because, you know, if anyone knows anything about YouTube, collaboration is a really, not good, just good tactic, but great way to just build relationships in the industry. Sure. So speaking of that, I, I feel like maybe that played a role in how you ended up here. So how did you end up working with Sun Squared Media? Sure. So I had known uh, John and Josh for a little while. It's just uh, I started my own kind of tech channel years ago, so, uh, around the same time that Austin and Josh and some of these other guys have. It was always kind of a sideline hobby thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, through that kind of association, I'd gotten to hang out with them, spend some time with them socially. Um, after I was originally, I was in the Air Force for a while. Then oh. after that, yeah, I went to film school. My mom was in the Air Force. Oh, cool. Shout out to mom. Hey, hey mom. So after the Air Force, I went to film school. Yeah. And then uh, at the end of film school, you kind of have this choice whether you want to work in traditional film or TV or try to do your own thing. Yeah. Um, the traditional route did not appeal to me at all. Um, and I really think that's going nowhere fast yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, and because I just kind of known these guys, I literally just cold emailed them and said like, hey, I'm looking at doing some work and got some time to kill. Are you guys interested? I'm a guy you don't really have to train um, just because I know the new media space. I know the production space. Uh, and so I'm coming in with my own point of view and my own, I own ideas. Yeah. So I think that's a huge selling point uh, in the kind of new media space in general is just not reiterating the same thing over and over and over, bringing in those outside guys with their own ideas. It's just cool to hear because I think uh, a lot of the assumptions about YouTubers is that they're sort of like in their vacuum making mm -hmm. content and just try, sort of doing it on their own. So it's kind of interesting to hear about how these uh, YouTube celebrities, as you would call it, are building out real companies and that there is a lot sure. that goes into this. So what is an average day in this office, in the Team Crispy <laughs> offices? What does it look <laughs> like? Is there Lots an average day? Lots of crispy day? things. They're uh, semi-average days. Mm -hmm. Like certainly we get outside things that happen yeah. uh, and we're doing something a little more interesting. Um, but I, there's always some kind of production going on. So that, that's going to happen no matter what every day uh, through some kind of platform. Maybe we're not shooting a YouTube video that day, but maybe we're working on an Instagram project. I'd say we also have a lot of what I would call like industry theory discussions. Uh, which is something that which you, is so interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. That's well, like why um, I feel excited to be here because I love hearing what the other like other creators think. Sure, and I think that's one of the massive benefits of having a physical office that everyone goes to, right? I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that kind of do the joint collaboration thing. People work remotely and things mm -hmm. like that. There's a level of like coolness that happens, yeah, right? Yeah. When it, when everyone is in the same space, right? Mm -hmm. And we're watching the same things and talking about them and discussing them. And, and it allows different, us different opinions too, because when you are doing that on your own, you are truly in a vacuum and you're exactly. just continuing to do what you know and you don't always correct if something's wrong because no one's telling you you should just fix that, just sure. tweak that. Just, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so there's a huge benefit to us being able to be like, hey man, can you come over and say, what do you think about this edit? Mm -hmm. What do you think about this thumbnail, right? Like we have, we have had, 45 minute discussions on thumbnail choice, you know? <laughs> uh, and you, you know, it's and it's a funny thing to think about, yeah. but those kind of things are huge. Yeah. And when you are the one guy in your basement doing it alone, you're you're always iffy about it and maybe you're making the wrong choice, yeah, you know? Yeah. So having those outside things. And you it, can still be over analytical about it, but you're still just that one person with that one opinion just trying to get engaged. Exactly. What's funny about this is there's probably many people watching this video that don't even upload custom thumbnails because they haven't been listening to me yet. And guys, listen to her, man. What are you doing? You've got to do it, but it's not just that. It's the one teaser visually that you're going to have before you click a YouTube video. So it's just incredibly critical. So 45 minute discussions, I actually think is <laughs> quick for you guys. Right, yeah, yeah. We, I'm sure we've had longer discussions yeah, about it, right? Yeah. But I think it's those little things happening add up a lot, mm -hmm. right? And I think it raises everyone's 
game. Absolutely. And I think everyone who works here will tell you that, that the difference between being in this office and being alone is massive because you're it's like game one when we're here, right? Mm -hmm. We're constantly thinking about the content and the business and what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's none of those outside distractions you would find at home, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's how we spend a lot of our time here. Uh, and I think it's the most beneficial thing from being here that you yeah. couldn't do anywhere else. Team Crispy Live mm -hmm. was recently announced. Exciting. What is this? I've already started calling it TCL. I, was, T I'll, I'm I like first it. One. I'm the first one. Maybe TC, TC Live. Live. I like TC, TC Live TC Live 2016. This is a $5 ticket. Yeah. That does not say to somebody that we're trying to profit off of events now. <laughs> yeah, <definitely, laughs> yeah. like we have a maximum of 500 attendees and, and it costs a lot of money to run events. So sure. what, what were you really trying to do here? Sure, well, I mean, definitely like we are, it is for the fans. I mean, yeah. first and foremost, yeah. obviously, right? Like, I mean, it's, it is not a new business venture we're trying yeah. to do, right? We're not trying to mm -hmm. get into the live event arena. We're trying to do something great for the fans that allows us to connect in a way that we, we couldn't connect before. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also allows them to have a good time, right? And I think, you know, this is my hope anyway, that one of the biggest benefits of this isn't just that they're gonna get to see these big YouTubers that, that they enjoy so much, but they're gonna get to see other fans, right? Like there's, it's like this great camaraderie you get when you're the guy with 100 subscribers yeah. and you meet the guy with 150 subscribers, yeah. right? Collaboration. Collaboration is key, I hear. You yeah, guys should look into yeah. that, right? And it's, this is where those things start. Well, great work they're doing here at Team Crispy and Sun Squared Media. Matt Pierce, thank you so much for hanging oh, out with pleasure. me today. Make sure you go check out all the channels that he is production director for because they're doing really awesome things. They've been very good friends to me for a number of years. We just wrapped up Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. I'm tired, but yet another crazy, crazy tech show. And hopefully we'll do it again next year. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.